am Susan Ashbrook and you're watching Equine VIP from Houston, Texas. We are here to interview Christy Uthier. Christy is a professional polo player, one of the top five women in the country. And she's married to a professional rodeo rider. So we're gonna follow Christy around. She's playing a competition today and learn more about her world. Let's go meet Christy now. I really enjoyed watching you ride today. You're an amazing equestrian. Thank you. You know what's so interesting is I think most people think of polo as a man's sport. You know, sport of kings. But when I was researching polo, I read that in the 6th century, the queen and her ladies rode polo. And then when I came and I saw you today, I mean, you were out there with the guys. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I mean, it really is a man's sport in the way that it is physical, it's hard, it's full contact. You're running full speed on thoroughbreds that can go very fast and asking them to act like rainers or cutters and turning and stopping. But nowadays it's so much easier for women to play. Before, I think traditionalism and stuff, but it was hard for them to allow women to be out there. But now, um, since I've started, really, it's very widely accepted for a woman to play. But they either expect you to do things exactly the same as them, or they ignore you. <laughs> so, you know, when one of the men really comes to you aggressively or does, you know, you, you almost take it as a compliment that you're an equal and you're out there, out there mixing it up with them. Well, I think nobody would ignore you, Christy, because uh, when I was watching you ride, a part of polo that I didn't realize was how communicative you are out on the field. And I was thinking, boy, you know, you can't be shy to ride polo. <laughs> Well, and it's a team sport. It's like basketball or anything else. And we only have four players out there. And you're running full speed, and, and the better the polo, the more you're going opposite directions almost. When, when my teammate goes up to back the ball, I should already be running the opposite direction. And he needs me to yell, tail. That means tail shot, okay, back the okay. ball, and you go. Christy Uthier, formerly Christy Waters, she, I can give you a little history about her. She was a um, college All-American at Texas A&M. Uh, I can't remember the year exactly, she can tell you that, but that's when I first met her when she was in college. Well, later on when I met her in California again, the first year I, I worked here in 98, um, that's when our current relationship started through the club and she's turned into probably one of the top five women players in the, in the world. When, when you mention her name, the first thing everybody thinks about her, how great her horses are. She takes a lot of pride in that. Um, they raise a lot of them, they buy, she'll buy prospects, young horses. And uh, that's, you know, that's the thing for me that sets her apart from a lot of other players. Plus the fact that she's aggressive and she's, she's very smart on the field. She knows the game like, you know, like the top professionals. So, you know, she's small, she's a small physical person, but she's a big, presence on the field. Of course we saw you ride today polo but that's not really what your start is. No I started um, in Western and I guess my parents tell me I wanted to ride from the minute I was born but I never cried until they would ride off on their family trail rides. My parents weren't horsemen um, so to speak not professionals they just had horses for a hobby mm -hmm. and I just loved it. Of course you couldn't be a team without your horse. Absolutely. And actually, this is one of the horses that you rode today. This is, this is one of my favorite horses here. Um, I don't know if it's because we raised him and trained him ourselves, or really it comes from just the, the sheer amount of effort he gives me on the polo field. <laughs> He's a little yeah, friendly. Yeah. But he, um, typically, I, I personally like thoroughbreds. A lot of, you know, the American thoroughbred is going to have your most endurance and top end speed. The polo field is 350 yards by 150 yards. So it's huge. It's, it's 11 acres. Yes. So they are running full speed as you saw and then also stopping and turning and doing all these things. Yeah. Now this horse, he has, I'm um, sorry, a little okay. bit of thoroughbred and mostly quarter okay. horse. Actually okay. mostly cutting horse bred uh -huh. into him. But his desire to run is unbelievable. And when I play him, I see his ears are forward. He is literally excited about what's going on. and trying harder and harder but all my horses that I'm riding you know we put so much time into it our, our typical day this morning we had an 11 a.m. game there they were fed at 630 and then at about 715 um, we took them out on a long walk to stretch them out about 30 minute walk not too long 
brought them back in, they got water, they got brushed from head to toe, loaded in the trailer, and then we were at the field an hour early. Walking and long trotting are the big maintenance things. Once they're to the level in the, in the tournament season where we're playing and running full speed like that, you don't have to go run full speed just to get them in shape because the game does that for you. Yeah. And we're playing three games a week. We do, I do standing wraps on their front legs to, um, and some liniment to keep their tendons tight and happy. You know, after you've run a big race, mm -hmm. it's kind of like they get to just rest and have some nice liniment on their legs. Well, it's, it's sort of like professional athletes. Many of them, I mean, come on, we all stretch before the big competition. Yes. And then afterwards, we have to rest our muscles. Absolutely. You know? And, so. the, you know, they're the perfect example of what we could be if we took better care of ourselves because we, they can't go out and eat something they can't go drink at night or eat bad food, you know, there and there. We give them what they need, and that's just one of the most fun things to me is the food you give them, the, you know, the amount of effort that goes into it mm -hmm. behind the scenes. Well, I want to ask you about that, the nutrition, but before I do, um, one thing I learned today was that most of the horses that compete in polo are mares. And I never knew that. That is true. But now he is <clears throat> This a is a gelding, gelding, and he's my only one. Um, I, like, I'm, I, too, am a big mare fan. And I think there are several reasons. Um, in my personal experience, I have played geldings that have just gotten tired, or there's just something. The mares would, I hate to say it because I don't mean it literally, but they would die for you. Now, you know, obviously I'm in the rodeo world a lot with my husband, and I see the value of a great gelding because it's 12 hours on the road, then you gotta stand there tied up, then you gotta jump in the thing, perform for a minute and a half, and then you're done, and you better be calm because you're gonna stand there. Totally different. I take my top mare and take her to the rodeo, and they would say, get that wild horse out of here. <laughs> and she's calm at our event, but it, yeah. it's a completely different situation. Right. Now, you talked about nutrition, and um, I just wondered if you wanted to talk about a special diet, or is there any kind of products that you, well, you, you know, really like? Well, you know, I'm very natural. I, you know, um, we don't give a lot of, lot of um, things, but I feed, um, a real good Purina sweet feed, the um, Omeline 200 mixed with oats. And I just mm -hmm. think that, that it's maybe one of the higher end feeds, but it, it's just got everything you need. You know, it for really the competitive does. horse. For, yeah. the, for the endurance and the, you know, they, I mean, you can see he gets, he gets uh, about two gallons twice a day, a huge amount of feed and he's not hyper or anything, and, but they cover so much ground that they stay lean. Yeah. I like that, I like the Purina, and um, I always add electrolytes, vitamin E, selenium, just the, just the top dressings, and then I, I've always fed a, um, a joint supplement, a liquid. So those three things to me, I think the electrolytes are so important. I was trying to do a little bit of research on you and Mike, and you know, there's a lot of information on the internet about Mike being superstitious. Oh, <laughs> and I wondered if where that came from, and you know, you're just as competitive as, as he is. Yeah, you know, I think I was a little superstitious before I met him, and then when I met him, it was it was another funny thing we had in common that we were both that way. Superstitions are more a routine for us. Um, all it is are little things. Like I know he eats a hot dog or something before <laughs> he, he does. He told you know, us and that. He, yeah, and then you know, um, again, it's just more of a routine that you have on your way to try to win that day. Well, we hope that Equine VIP is going to bring you luck. Ah, I think it will. <laughs>